please welcome Tarana CEO, Basil Alwan. On behalf of the entire Tarana team, I want to welcome our audience here. You know, we've all heard way too much about the digital divide. It's been a persistent problem and it's only getting more important with time. So today we want, we want to talk about the divide, but we termed this session the digital multiply. The reason we did that is we figure if technology can create the digital divide, it stands to reason that technology should be able to be harnessed to solve it, hence the digital multiply. And I think we're going to show today that in fact technology has delivered. I want to introduce you to our panel here. Here we have Sam Dawson, CEO of Illyrica Networks, it's Jim McKenna, founder and CEO of Red Zone Networks, and Dave Gibson, who's the Chief Revenue Officer of Comnet Broadband. We had a test tower. We had, I would say at the time, four different technologies yep. on this test site. Uh, Toronto was one of them. And hands down, Toronto outperformed uh, everything else at that test site. I'm here to tell you all today that Toronto is very real. As much as we can get our hands on this product, we're going to get out there and we're going to reach all of the unserved and the underserved who have been waiting for a solution like this. Toronto was our choice for, for a number of reasons. Uh, the topology is obviously very difficult for us, um, but more importantly, the market is difficult. You know, we don't have the luxury of having a, a, a dense population, which means that every customer counts for us. And we have Cameron Kilton, the CTO of Nextlink. I mean, I actually have Toronto at home and I live in a fiber neighborhood. It's fast. I have seven <laughs> milliseconds of latency from my home, That's 60 awesome. miles away to That's Dallas. Awesome. The reason why we can do this, and this is indeed not uh, reasonable for other systems, is because, as you guys know, we've built this entire system from scratch. But today we're taking our next step with G1. This is not a one and done kind of thing. This is a new technology foundation, and it's a foundation that from here we'll build on. G1 operates on two independent 40 megahertz carriers today. So G1 X2, you guessed it, it's four independent carriers of 40 megahertz, total of 160 megahertz of spectrum. And what this is going to give us is gigabit. Some of our customers have asked us that they would really want to offer a gigabit tier. G1X2 is going to let that happen. Now, you're going to say, well, G1X2, geez, man, that's a hard technology. I'm guessing that's going to be in 2026 or something like that, right? Wrong. It's going to be available in mid-2023. But it's also going to let us exploit the new 6 gigahertz spectrum, which is relatively unpopulated. But actually, there's more. We're actually going to also be able to offer gigabit service on our current system. The current system we're shipping today will get a software upgrade that's going to allow it to offer gig tier services. Because we have all of the system under our control, the protocol, the chipset and so on, and we have a lot of horsepower, we can actually reconfigure the system to deliver according to customer demand and market demand. We can actually go uh, up to 20 miles, limited really by the curvature of the earth, and offer 500 megabits a second, more than a thousand square miles. I Absolutely. think what we've really focused on here today is what this technology can deliver to help solve that really persistent problem, the digital divide, hence the digital multiply. Thank you, everybody.